So Neil, what kind of drives you every morning when you wake up in the morning and you have, you're one of the busiest guys I know, what motivates you to keep going, keep pushing forward and making all this happen? Losing. I know I'm not the biggest company. I know some of my competitors are bigger than me. Losing. I don't have goals of trying to make X dollars or anything like that. My goal is really simple, beat my competitors. And I'm so competitive and I want to do whatever it is to crush them. I'm doing this new strategy. This is going to sound crazy. Uh, I was dealing with Nadav uh, from Inbound Junction the other day because we're working on promotion strategies. And we were talking about um, Hotjar and a few of the other competitors. And he's like, what are you going to do? I'm like, I'm going to release more stuff for free. And he's like, how are you going to make money? I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to crush him. That's it. Like, seriously, I will lose revenue to crush my competitors. It's kind of crazy and sometimes in many cases silly. Even in marketing, I'm buying a lot of tools right now and I'm creating a lot of marketing tools. I release a keyword tool similar to keywordtool.io. Mine's called Uber Suggest and I ended up buying it out. I discussed that in a previous video. I release their paid features for free. There's no reason to pay for them. You don't even need a login. You can use an unlimited. I don't care. Use it away. It costs me money each month. The next person I'm going to go after is SEM Rush. I have so much keyword data. Once I get enough, I'm going to create 20% of their main features that most people use and release their whole product for free. I'm going to take 20 to 30% of what people use in Moz as well as all the other SEO features I like in tools and give it all away for free. I don't care to make $1. You know, people have a freemium concept. Oh, you do it for free, Neil, and then you're going to upsell people. No, my freemium is going to be free. Upsell, nothing. Just use it for free. I believe who controls the most audience and the mind share is going to win. And here's my marketing tip for anyone, especially you guys who are watching. The world is changing so fast that technology is adapting and everything's becoming so cheap. Jeff Bezos once had a quote saying, your margin is my opportunity. I took that to heart in which take whatever your competitors are doing and just undercut them on price. Make it less and if you can, make it free and make your money on the high end of the market. That's at least what I'm going to do. And that's my strategy that I'm doing a lot in 2018. And I believe you just go out there, undercut everyone, market to get the audience. And when you have a free product or service, you don't have to spend that much on marketing. You don't have to deal with the expensive Google AdWords costs, the Facebook ad costs. And you can just do it really simple in which you're going out there, product markets itself, it grows. And then eventually you can figure out how to monetize. Think of it as a media company. Whoever controls the most eyeballs within that industry in the long run is going to win. So I'm willing to lose money or make a lot of things for free because it's so cheap these days that, hey, I can do a lot of stuff just with API. For free, to give you guys an example, I was looking at Moz's um, server expenses. I think it was around $200,000 a month in expenses. They release an annual report and they have this tag free uh, code or mentality of ethics, which is awesome. And, and one of the line items was server costs. These days, I can crawl 500,000 web pages and give SEO feedback. You know what my server cost on that is? $120. That's it. $120 to use someone else's API to give me suggestions on 500,000 web pages, unlimited websites, unlimited domains. Just 120 bucks. You know how many sites I can reach out with that? So what keeps me motivated is crushing my competitors, giving everything away for free, and eventually winning Mindshare. And that's my goal. If I beat everyone and take their user base because I'm doing everything for free, eventually when I have that Mindshare or that audience, I'll figure out how to monetize by just going after that 1% being the Fortune 1000 or whatever it may be because one customer can end up paying you enough where it makes up for all your expenses plus more. That's what keeps me motivated.